Oh, P, you, what in the world is that smell? Long ago, there lived a young woman named Lily in the country of Norway. In Norway, where she lived, she would walk on a path on the way home every single day. And as she would walk on that path, she would see this area of land that was overgrown with weeds. In fact, when she would walk past it, it would be like, oh, P.U., what in the world is that smell? When she would look in it, she would see that it was littered with all sorts of garbage and waste. And when she would go home, her grandma would tell her a different story. She would say, Lily, when I was a little girl, that piece of land, it wasn't a wasteland. It wasn't gross. It wasn't smelly. No, it was beautiful. It used to be the most gorgeous garden. And as Lily learned about this, she thought, ah, wouldn't it be nice if this garbage-ridden piece of land turned into a garden? So one day, on her way back from school, she made the intention. She would try to clean it up. Armed with a pair of gardening gloves, a garbage bag, and a watering can, she began spending a few minutes every day. First, pulling weeds, things that shouldn't be there then taking out the litter, the garbage that had gotten in that area, and then beginning to water some of the plants that still existed to be there. And as hours turned into days and days turned into weeks, the garden started to take shape. Other people began to take notice. And as they looked, they didn't see garbage anymore. They started seeing apples growing on trees. It became a place where people would sit and have picnics and eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. A place where boys and girls would come and play soccer. A place where little birdies would come and enjoy. That garden became a destination for the entire city. Now the reason why I'm telling you this story is simple. As we think about our own bedrooms, and as we think about our own play spaces, many of them might be dirty and disgusting like that old piece of land. But if we put in a little bit of work every single day to try to make it a little bit cleaner, a little bit neater, a little bit tidier, it will return to its glory, a place that is filled with fun and wonder and excitement and inshallah i pray that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to respect and keep all of our places neat and clean.